either a hot water heater or it's a bomb. If it's a hot water heater, there's no problem. It just heats the water in your house. If it's a bomb, it fails catastrophically, sending the bottom shooting out, sending the top shooting up. This floor isn't gonna offer much resistance to that water heater. The question we wanna know is, what's it gonna do when it hits this roof? Is it gonna make a nice, clean, round hole I can stare all the way into the basement through? Or is it gonna be interrupted on its journey into the sky and never make it out of the house? That's what we wanna find out. Deep in Buster's basement, changes are occurring in his water heater. <laughs> changes that could affect his life. Oh look, we've turned red. 175 PSI. Ah, the suspense is killing me. Now it's really starting to accelerate. All that potential just waiting. 325. Oh God, it's any second now. I don't want to turn back and look at the pressure anymore. <laughs> I don't want to take my eyes off of it. 330. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do some live math here. The hot water heater itself is 18 inches in diameter. Now for the area of that, it's pi r squared, which equals 254 square inches of the bottom. Now you've got a pounds per square inch pressure inside of 336. Multiply that by 254, you get 85 and a half thousand pounds of pressure. Let me say that again, 85 and a half thousand pounds of pressure pushing against the bottom of the heater. You would fail too. 335. <laughs> you know what I see? I see a hole in the roof, man. Holy cow. Now that's what I call mission accomplished. I wish you could be here for this kind of explosion because when the hot water heater finally blows, you're staring right at it because we know where the zone is. And the thud that comes out of it is so deeply guttural and still warm kind of thud. It's great. Watch it again. In there. <laughs> Looking at the damage the water heater did to the building, it left some neat holes in the first floor <laughs> and through the roof, which is no big deal, but looking more carefully, you realize what a shock the entire building took. Wow! Yeah, look at how much damage it did to the plywood right here. The cinder blocks that I put underneath the ground floor are actually shattered from the downward push. It actually lifted the entire roof off of its seat and then set it down. You know, this would pretty much ruin your house. 